Well, it is Friday fun day and we're launching into the weekend. So you know what time it is to see what's happening around the Soda City on what is expected to be a beautiful yet hot weekend. Joining us today with more, Kaylin from B106.7. Kaylin, thank you so much for being here. We always enjoy these segments with you. I always love being here, but before we start, can yeah. we touch about the snack thing? Yes, quick? yes. So I did say those cheddar pretzels, they're the rolled gold brand ones, mm -hmm. and when I tell you, I can't, like, I have to be so careful oh buying those because they, I will eat the entire bag. Oh my goodness. So addicting and they're so good. So that was, I was wondering that was if me. that was you who yeah. joined in on the conversation conversation because I'm like I don't know much many Caitlin's but yes, <laughs> when I saw that I was thinking dang and I want some pretzels but I like to dip mine in cheese I mean I I love any kind of pretzel yeah like you dip them in cheese they're covered in I like the ones also that are like like this they, they cover them in like chocolate so oh, like it's the sweet and the salty yes. combo so, so good. good okay all righty y'all <laughs> If your grocery list is increasing, thanks, Caitlin, because now everybody has a taste for Listen, pretzels. everything is going down, apparently. So, <laughs> so treat yourself, treat yourself. Just saying. <laughs> All right, well, kicking off this weekend, uh, Caitlin, uh, the Pups and Pints Adoption Event at Still Hands Brewery, they're always doing amazing things there. They are, and I actually went to the last event, but mm -hmm. this one is taking place this Saturday, the 13th, from noon until 3. And what's great about it is adoption fees are waived on all of the animals at this event, and there's so many cute ones I remember. The uh -huh. last time I was there, they brought a few of the animals on stage and like introduced them and told their story. All of these animals come spayed and neutered, vaccinated and microchipped. But if you are planning on, or I, I say planning, if mm. you go there with the intentions of bringing a baby home, make sure you're prepared with a leash and a collar because they do not come with that. You but. know what? That's really good, especially knowing that they're microchipped, vaccinated and spayed and neutered already. That's a really good cause and a really good deal to to grow your family with a little fur baby. I like that. They're so and cute too. If you want to stay, I guess, on the, the craft and drafts era, yes. then what about the heiress tour? Yeah, so <laughs> um, we love craft and draft. Me yeah. and my husband go there a lot to pick up some different brews. Their Eras Tour is this Saturday from noon until 8 because they're celebrating their 10th anniversary. So nice. big congratulations to them. You can head on out to Divine Street to celebrate the 10th anniversary. They're closing down the block to be able to celebrate this 10th anniversary with live music and mm. food trucks and a bunch of different great things. And of course, Eras themed, meaning Taylor Swift attire is encouraged. They're going to have collaborations with Peak Drift and Tradesmen and Indigo Reef Brewing, music by so many great local bands, and of course, a bunch of great local food trucks there as well. Kaylin, how cool if Taylor Swift is watching Soda City Live at this very moment and decides to make a pop-up appearance? I mean, that would be really cool. I'm pretty sure she's busy someplace else yes. in the world right now. Um, but if she was to stop by the Eras Tour for, P or for, for Craft and Draft, yeah. that... I would have no words. Yeah, I, me either. <laughs> I, I would want to make sure that I am in the area for sure. No words. And then also Hampton Street Vineyard, uh, the only French restaurant in Columbia. Really nice things that they have going on there. They have a big event that's coming up on Sunday. Yes, Bastille Day is happening at Hampton Street Vineyard on Sunday from 5 to 8. So if you're looking to celebrate Bastille Day, which is a French holiday in mm -hmm. style, you can go to Hampton Street Vineyard and celebrate with six classic French dishes. So mm. it's a six course meal um, with the option to add your wine pairings as well. And that's definitely what they're known for. They have yeah. the longest list of wine that I think I've seen in quite some time. And they're so good. They're so, so good. good. I just uh, had the opportunity to interview the owner, Jonathan Lopez. He's yesterday. a great guy. He is. Yeah. He is so talented and creative. They have uh, like a summer restaurant games kind of yes. inspired by the Olympics mm -hmm. coming up. So we'll have that on the show next week. So you guys get to see a little bit more about the Hampton Street Vineyard. Right. And then also, can you believe it? We're already talking about back to school. Which I know there's a lot of parents out there that are like, y'all stop. Yes. But it's, it's the reality, you it's know, it's that time here. of year. Yeah. And so there's a lot of people that we know have um, difficulty when it comes to getting their kids mm -hmm. the, the supplies and everything that they need to go back to school. But yeah. also on top of that, there's a lot of teachers that take money out of their own pockets to be able to Very give true. The, the students what they need in their classrooms. And so that is why we are teaming up with Hardee's at B106.7 for a school supply drive throughout the rest of the month and into August. But this Saturday from eight to four, we're gonna be accepting school, donate, school supply donations at 100 
Creek Road in Blythewood, Creech mm -hmm. Road, excuse me. Um, and so this is happening all throughout the month of July and into August. We're accepting school supply donations. So whether you want to donate pencils or markers or folders, notebooks, if you drop off school supplies, you'll get a free coupon for three piece chicken tenders. And I'm going to be there at the Hardy's location tomorrow from 10 to noon. So okay. people can come on out, drop off their school supplies. We can hang out and chat, but also really making a difference here in the Midlands. All of these school supplies are benefiting the Richland one and Richland two school districts. So yes. giving back to the community because there's so many people that struggle trying to get these supplies because we know everything is so expensive nowadays so we yes, just want to do a little part to help in that. Well guys make sure that you go out and support and as you heard Kaylin said she will be there from 10 to noon so make sure you go out and say hi and let her know how much you enjoy having her here yes. every Friday with us just the same way that we enjoy having you. Thank Kaylin you. thank you so much we hope that you're able to go out to some of those fun events. In the meantime we're going to take a quick break much more Soda City Live up next including a shopping segment with fitness guru James Patrick. Consider this an encore, encore segment. We're going to show you how to shop for some healthy snacks, Ooh. okay, for the summer. We'll be right back. <laughs>